Absolutely. Any time a World Cup year comes along, um, we hope to put the rights, put it right anyway from last year uh, in Dubai. So, yeah, it's another exciting opportunity for uh, what's a really exciting group at the moment. What did you think when England were drawn in the same group as Australia and New Zealand? Be honest. Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> we, you've got to beat the best. Um, there's, yeah, I don't need to state the rivalry, certainly that we have with Australia historically, but uh, New Zealand have kind of been a powerhouse. Um, yeah, they've been a powerhouse in all cricket, uh, certainly in the last few years. So, yeah, two great teams. Uh, we always have great games against them. And, uh, yeah, it'll in their home conditions, um, over there, it'll be a real challenge. Just thinking back to recent uh, England defeat for uh, against New Zealand in the UAE, is, is death bowling an area where there's a lot of work still to be done of other countries overtaking us in that? Statistically, you, you look at, we, we as players are constantly analysing and believe it or not, we are our biggest critics. So it's an area, of course, we look at as a team. Um, it's a lot of hard work goes into the analysis and, and everything of how we're going to get better as a team. But there's there's all different areas. Um, it doesn't, it's not just one area. It's not just the bowling that has kind of let us down at big points. Um, so, yeah. We, we've had this constant mindset. Owen Morgan has led the team brilliantly over the last five years to get us to number one in the world. And it's been that progressive mindset in everything we do. Um, so we won't be stopping. Um, we, we'll always look to improve in, in every single area. England are round right about third favourites, depending which bookmaker you look at to win this competition behind India and Australia. Shouldn't you be favourites, given how good England's record is in this tournament? It's up to other people to decide and uh, to have conversations about. Um, look, we're, we're very confident uh, if you look at the results we've got in all different conditions all around the world against the best teams. Uh, we've done that consistently, like I said, over the last five years. Confidence comes from evidence. So, um, yeah, we've got that behind us. But it's those big moments, those crunch moments that we'll be looking to put right that ultimately we won in the 50 over competition. Uh, the World Cup in England on home soil. So it's another challenge doing it away from home, but uh, we've definitely got the talent and the mindset uh, to, to hopefully win the title in Australia. How long can Owen Morgan keep on doing this? How long can he remain as the all-conquering captain? I mean, what a question that is. He, he can, uh, he's got a track record as impressive as anyone. Uh, he is the fundamental part which, which has changed white ball cricket in the last five or six years. Him and Andrew Strauss have played a fundamental role in that. So, yeah, um, he, he's looking forward to, to it more than anyone to really um, win that title and get, get the T20 title back uh, in English hands. So it's, a, it's another opportunity for everyone. But we've got a great group in, in the... There's a lot of different leaders. Josh Butler plays an integral part, one of the best white ball players in the world. And uh, he's another guy that will really look to step up and be counted as well. Is he the next captain, do you think? <laughs> Josh has incredible leadership skills. Uh, like I said, Mo and Ali has done a lot of captaincy as well. Um, it's, it's an area that I think a lot of people have focused in on in, in terms of the English game. And the 100 has produced... Um, a great opportunity, uh, along with the Vitality Blast, for guys to captain their domestic sides uh, to success. So, um, yeah, you can only, you need to experience captaincy. You need to know how to get the best out of your teammates and, and different people. So um, we're very lucky that we've got some high-class competitors and cap captains um, there below Owen as well. So there's a lot of good options. That's always a good sign for a good team. You played in that final Ashes test in... Hobart, a lot of people in cricket, I know we're pleased to see you get that opportunity. How hungry are you to do it again? Absolutely. It was, it was the best. I've been very lucky with the opportunities and moments I've had in my career, but um, that was the best moment of my career, without a doubt. And as a little bit of an older, more experienced head on me, I could really enjoy the experience and, and soak it all up. Uh, I think when you're a younger player, you're running on adrenaline uh, and get quite nervous with those situations. But I really enjoyed it. Um, it's definitely given me a taste for test cricket and something that I really want to continue to do in the future. At the moment, obviously, that opportunity, I don't need to state it. I'm not in Antigua at the moment, but um, 
yeah, it's I've got to just knock the door down and put pressure on on people who who are in that team at the moment. Um, so that's what I'll be looking to do. But like any cricketer, there's a lot of different focuses at the moment with the T20 World Cup, as you've alluded to. Uh, so there's a lot to excite uh, in terms of opportunities. I'm sure you've been watching in Antigua where the West Indies are 212 for five right now. So 99 behind, five weeks left. Very, very even. What have you made of a new look England side, Sean of Broad and Anderson? A lot, of been, a lot of chat has obviously been around the team selections and a lot of change since that last Hobart test. Um, it presents, I, I sound like a broken record, but it presents that opportunity for, for new characters, younger players to step up and take on senior, more prominent roles in, in teams. And that's really exciting. We had a reset after the World Cup in 2015 and, and something similar needs to happen. Um, Red Bull cricket, some may say has been neglected over the last few years, but it's a real chance to, to yeah, forge a new path. Uh, Joe Root is captain, um, get a kind of forge a senior leadership group around him out of the next core group of players and, um, and decide the direction they want to take that, that team in. Um, exciting. I don't think it's the last we've seen of Gordon Anderson. Um, but like I said, hopefully we'll have a few more bowlers uh, putting their hands up along with the batsmen after this test series. Before I let you go, you mentioned domestic cricket a moment or two ago. It's the 20th edition of the 2020 uh, this year. Kent, current holders there to be shot at. Does it make it harder? It's exciting. Uh, it was 14 years since we won the trophy. Uh, the trophy's just sat down there. Um, an incredible moment, incredible moment for the club and, and the community um, in this corner of the country, um, southeast corner of the country. So, yeah, it's, it's nice to be, um, I suppose, chased. Uh, we've been doing the chasing for quite a while and uh, that mindset might shift. But for us, we've got a really exciting um, squad down here. A lot of young players that are hungry for more success. Once you get a taste of something, um, you definitely wanted more. So we'll be looking forward to defending our title. And there's no doubt, um, statistically, we've been one of the best teams in the last few years in the country. So, uh, yeah, there's no reason why we can't go back to back. I'll probably get in trouble with the technical people here, but I don't care. Just just reach out and show us that. Just grab that trophy and just, just show us the trophy that you, that you won. There you go. Uh, out of shot, but coming back in. And that's the trophy. Excellent. That's the trophy that Kent won last yeah. time. Uh, good luck when you uh, try to retain it. Thanks very much for talking to us.